Hello Griffiths here and in this video I'm going to show you how we melt our bees of wax here at Greeny Griff. So we use a steam wax melter like this one and it's, it's quite a, a simple system really. Put all your wax in here. So we got cap ends wax, we render old frames, we put that in there and you take this Quite heavy when it's full. Place that in the wax melter. So you can see that had legs. So as the steam starts melting the wax, the mesh is going to hold a lot of the bigger debris that's not, not actually beeswax. It'll come down the bottom and run out in the tap here. And you can catch it in here, let it cool down and you've got a solid block so we're going to go through this all that in this video and this is this one of two stages of uh, melting wax to get ready to sell so if you're selling beeswax in bulk or you're just selling it for exchanging of foundation frames back then this process is good enough uh, you won't need to render it down again but if you're selling beeswax to the cosmetic industry the food industry then there's another stage that I'll go through in another video to get the wax ready for that kind of um, use. So very important, a lot of beeswax now is used in the food industry, a lot of food wraps companies uh, are using beeswax to make their eco-friendly food wraps. So every time we handle our beeswax here, we treat it as food really. Obviously we have got the food uh, and hygiene regs that cover beeswax, but it's just really good plastic, uh, practice if you're using stainless steel and food grade plastic when you're handling the beeswax. Because if you're using a plastic that's not food grade, when the hot wax comes out into the bucket, that could melt the plastic a little bit and you could get some nasty residues in the beeswax. Well, you don't want that, especially if it's going into the food industry. So as a precaution, we use stainless steel and food grade plastic every time we handle the beeswax when it's in the liquid form and i suggest you do the same so that's all we're going to do now we've got a little steam generator here which forms part of this wax melter we've got the lid here we just put the lid on fire this up and we're ready to get some molten beeswax on the go now it's just important to note, once you put this steam generator on, that you stay with the system. Don't put this on and go away for a couple of minutes or a couple of uh, hours, because this will steam dry. And then you risk damaging the steam generator or overflowing wax out the bucket, which you don't want to do. Beeswax is quite expensive. You don't want to be wasting that. And likely with this, this is quite expensive. You don't want to be burning this out so once you put this on it does take 10 or so minutes for this to warm up to start generating enough steam so I'm the wax just stay with the system while you're doing this Now just a note, we just fill one bucket up now and the other one's filling. As this is coming down, I'm constantly filling it up. Don't waste a full steam generator full of water. If you've got wax, keep filling it up, keep filling it up, keep filling it up. And just safety note here, this hot bees wax here, give this a good hour for it to cool down and fully solidified. Because wax is just like honey or any other kind of thick substance, it holds the heat in 
quite well, much longer than water or something very thin and liquidy. So don't touch that until it's fully hardened. After you've melted the beeswax, it should look like this. Just come out of a similar bucket like this. This is a five litre full grade bucket. So we get cones looking like this. Now, if you want to sell this in bulk or exchange it for some foundation for your beeswax, uh, for your beekeeping activities, that's all I would do to this now. As you can see on the bottom, you've got a layer of dirt. And as the beeswax floats to the top, the dirt stays underneath and it sticks on. So you just take a knife and it's literally, you just slice that off. It comes off real easy. If you're melting old beeswax frames, you're going to end up with a lot of dirt. If you're just doing cap bins with the odd bit of frame in there, it shouldn't be too bad. So you're probably slicing off probably about a centimetre of wax off, of dirt off the wax. And we're starting to get in a hard bit of beeswax there, so scrape that away and that's perfectly ready to either sell in bulk or exchange for foundation. Now, if you want to sell this to the food industry or the cosmetic industry and you don't want to be penalised too much on price, on the next video I'm going to show you how I refine this down so it's just 100% beeswax. So as you can see, there's still little bits of dirt amongst the wax there because as this heats up, the wax comes out. If this were to dry up a little bit then, it seals solid and the fresh bit of wax that comes on top, then you get a layer of dirt in between the layers of wax, if that makes sense. So the next video, I'm going to show you how to refine this down into a perfect block of beeswax so you get your premium price for it. But if you're not interested in that and you just want to sell this in bulk or exchange it for, uh, for a foundation, then this process is good enough and they won't penalise you on that at all for those applications. So, thank you very much for watching.